everyone, Alex here from Sherpa Equipment Company. Today, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about our new Diablo rack. This rack's been through a ton of testing since earlier this year. It's been the king of the hammers supporting our race team. It's been down to Baja. And then yesterday, we just did 128 miles off-road out here in Utah, and we're down in Swing Arm City. Let me dive into this rack and show you all the cool features about it. So one of the first things I want to mention about this rack system is it does require drilling into your truck. Um, sadly, there's no way around this with the rams. They don't put anything in there to mount to unless you were to clamp like the door sill, but then you get into your weather stripping and we just don't like that. So we try to make it really easy with our drill racks. We use our billet rivet adapters, which require two 3 16 holes per mount to be drilled into the cab and then you install a 3 16 pop rivet. Um, we recommend that you get a rivet tool if you want to do this yourself, uh, we use the Milwaukee electronic rivet tool. It works incredible. Um, but if you're uncomfortable with drilling and all of that, we recommend that you just get this rack professionally installed. Uh, we have a lot of shops around the country that'd be happy to do it for you. And we also do it in our shop in Bertha, Colorado. So if that's of interest to you, awesome. Um, the nice thing about these billet rivet adapters is that you can now bolt and unbolt your rack without ever messing with the pieces that are riveted into the roof. So they're threaded to allow a bolt to go in and out. And then our mounting feet are the same as pretty much every other mounting feet that we uh, make for our racks. With those billet rivet adapters, it's a really easy way to make it so you can take your uh, mounting feet on and off and take your rack on and off. So it makes it so all that stuff is serviceable without ever messing with those rivets. And it makes it so you can take the rack off if you were to sell the truck. And you could just leave those little rivet adapters behind and they're very unnoticeable on the cab. Um, so let me dive into the rack itself. So one of the first questions you might have about this rack is how much weight can it handle? This rack can handle 300 pounds dynamic load. So that's uh, 300 pounds of a rooftop tent riding down the highway, um, of gear bouncing on the trail, whatever it may be. And then once you're parked, this thing can handle 700 pounds of static load. So you can have multiple people up in a tent and it's not gonna be a problem for this rack. So the reason that we have that weight capacity is because we're using uh, 6061 quarter inch aluminum for our side plate. So it's a little thicker than some of our competitors, but it's also a really rigid material. We don't have to pull bends out of these side plates, so um, we can get away with using a 6000 series. That gives it a lot more strength. We also have quarter inch mounting feet that are direct load path from your crossbar down into your billet rivet adapters. So that's transferring that load straight into where it's drilled into your cab, and that's gonna be right in that uh, channel where the cab is its strongest point. So this rack's incredibly strong and it's going to be able to handle a lot of abuse over the years. This rack will come with seven crossbars that all, except for the ones that mount into the cab, are adjustable in these slots. You can move them around where you need um, to mount your specific gear. Uh, our side plates also have built-in handholds. Uh, you can also do our handle light brackets inside here and get some uh, scene lighting with Baja Design Rock Lights. And then we also have built-in tie-down points. And you can add more by attaching Sherpa smileys into the side plates or onto the crossbars if you need. And you can also get more crossbars on our website if you wanna add more crossbars up here. The next notable thing I wanna jump into is our wind fairing. Um, this wind fairing is designed for the cab lights. So it has a lot of cutouts to accommodate all these lights. And then we're working on releasing a version to work with the trucks that don't have the cab lights, but it's still gonna clearance this antenna and your XM antenna on the other side. And something unique about this fairing is that it doesn't have a crossbar behind it like uh, most of our fairings do just because you can't fit it with this antenna. So this fairing bolts into the side plate with some bent tabs on the side, and then it has a bent lip on top to give it some structural rigidity. And then we also have a little bracket in the center to give it some rigidity in the middle. And we've done a lot of testing with this fairing to make sure it's as quiet as possible while still accommodating these cab lights. It does make a little bit more noise than our normal racks, but all things considered, and especially with these fifth gen rams, with the sound deadening that they have, it's still a very, very quiet setup. Even with these four max tracks up here, it's pretty much unnoticeable, especially once you get into adding bigger tires and lights and those kind of things on your truck. So definitely not something you need to be worrying about. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you have any questions about the Diablo rack, please leave them in the comments below. You can shoot us an email at info at SherpaEquipmentCompany.com. You can also give us a call. And yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Like, comment, subscribe.